Go um, ahead there and there. Tell me something about this reunion, Brenda. Okay. Um, Diane and Carlene and Sandra Shaw Wright did a lot of phone calls. They did a lot of decorations, and I really appreciate all their help. And we're looking forward to a good reunion. Carlene? I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the 50th, and it's a lot of fun. So what's this one? 48. 48. Won't be long. Okay. Hey. Okay. I'm glad to be here for this class reunion of 1965 for the 48th year. And I uh, enjoyed being with Brenda and Caroline and Sandra helping decorate and looking forward to next year. Okay. Or the year after, whatever. The 50. <laughs> 50. Just have another one. And this is what year? 48. What year? 2013. Wow. Boy, y'all getting old. <laughs> You knew what work was, and, I, and I'm pleased we've about forgot what that is. Everybody's got around with their hand up. And you see what's happening to this country. And, and I worry about this thing. But I did. I thought, I thought, and I looked around and said, don't go on. They said, I'm really worried. 
And, uh, but they weren't for Nobody gave them folks much of anything that I knew. And uh, I hope somewhere along the line, maybe uh, I got in the word to you what it was good <laughs> Or out of history books or English or whatever it may have been that you remember something. And if I ever have any of you, be glad to. And I love everyone. On the board every day, and that's one of the yeah. I, that was one of my highlights. Remembering, I, I don't remember what any of them were, but, <laughs> but I did at the time. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, four score and seven here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what that is today. Oh, what's it not the you? Uh, the uh, Gettysburg Address. Grim Constitution. We, we've gotten away from some good things. Sitting back, you know, cursing. Amen. That slave now to bring that back. I hope for an hour. And I uh, my granddaughter. I, I, he's been in with us. And, and they can't put down an iPod, cell phone, or something. You know, I said, Do you sleep with that thing? <laughs> Radiator cap, 
<laughs> Remember, we took all of them off. But the principals didn't want students messing with those radiators. <laughs> 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 There's a wonder we didn't have lawsuits about those radiators because people can lean against them, you might get scalded. Oh, yeah, so that when uh, Mr. Honey got fired, oh, who was that custodian? Stanley. Stanley. Lewis. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry. That's the home system. You bring him to me out next week to the bar. The other one went three weeks. And I shovel cold every day. <laughs> <laughs> I had not seen Mr. Honey cut <laughs> For nothing, of course. <laughs> That's when they had the old water down underneath there. The fire was cold and had the steam heat. <laughs> But lots of things changed, and uh, even the high school building itself, if you had come back in just before we moved to South Davidson in 1989, a lot of the rooms you might not have recognized. Um, two of the rooms, the room I was in, in English, and uh, I think it was a science room, were combined, uh, made into a science lab. The other end of it, became the office uh, or where the secretary stayed and squeezed in the middle there was the new guidance office. Uh, uh, I was in guidance for so many years and I think I occupied every cubby hole that building had. I even had the stage at one time just partitioned off. And I remember our um, illustrious mayor of the town now, Scott Morris, he would like to come and peek over the top. And I said, Scott, you can't do that. I said, I've got to have privacy when I talk to kids. But even if they're just planning college, they don't want you nosing around. And he'd come look over the top. And I said, if you do that again, I will throw you out of here bodily. But he did, and I did. Good <laughs> you ran on Jet Taylor and Mr. Fine. <laughs> but those are some of the good memories that we have, and of course the old building uh, is gone also. And um, uh, that brings to mind too that there is to be an all-time Denton High School reunion this summer. So mark it down, it's June the 22nd. Uh, Susie Wallace Fire, uh, Ed and Vegans Wallace's daughter, is helping to spearhead it. Also, uh, Sue Ellis Snyder from the uh, uh, Silver Valley Sith community. Uh, she is a former graduate and she's helping with it. So if you're on Facebook, you can communicate with them. Uh, otherwise, just look for something in the paper if you get the paper. And uh, But mark down June 22nd. And it will be up on the site of the old building. And uh, so uh, there'll be tailgating, no open flames. You can't bring anything that will set fire to anything. <laughs> my father son. But uh, uh, it will be tailgating. Uh, hopefully every class will have a table set up. So if you're interested in getting your class represented, uh, talk to Susie or Sue Ellen and uh, get that underway. The gymnasium will be open that day for restroom purposes, and uh, none of the buildings that I know of will be open, but at least we can reminisce some more and possibly see some people older than we are. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs>